Hello everyone and welcome. So now that we have installed our project and we have set up our react environment Let's start coding and let's build the website so I created a components folder here in the previous video so this component folder which uh, will be holding all of the components which we are going to use and which we are going to reuse actually in the website so the first thing uh, we are going to do is now we will create a nav bar so let me just show you what is a nav bar first so when I come to this website it's a material website I'm just taking it for a reference so nav bar is the top thing here at the very top you can see this this uh, thing here it's called nav bar even if i scroll that thing is not going so that is the nav bar you might have seen in uh, other websites also that there's nothing new in that so we will be uh, begin uh, we will be beginning by creating this nav bar so the first thing we are going to create is this nav bar okay so let's get uh, into it and let's start uh, uh, creating a nav bar so the first thing we need to do is create a nav bar component in the components folder so I'll create a file which will be navbar.js okay so one cool trick now I'm going to show you is that uh, you don't need to write the boilerplate code by yourself uh, remember we installed an extension called ES7 I showed you and I told you to install so with that in the extension you can just directly import the snippet of the boilerplate code so for that you need to just uh, type rfce if you have installed that uh, extension so for me uh, this rfc does not work like in one shot so i need to just uh, press ctrl shift p and then i have to click and uh, click on this snippet search and then i have to type rfce and then boom you can see you can see the boilerplate code has been given to us this is the snippet of the starting uh, uh, like starting component and this is same for all so this is the general uh, syntax or general structure you can say of a component so it has an import which is import react from react so this is very important in every uh, component you don't need to forget uh, don't forget this and you need to write this line next we have a function which is uh, the name the functions name is the name of the component and it has a return statement so in the return statement there is uh, something we want to return or we want to render on the browser then we export this component so one more important thing i would like to share is that uh, in the return statement we write jsx now what what is jsx exactly jsx is javascript mixture of javascript and html that means inside this render uh, inside this render inside this return statement you can write JavaScript as well as HTML so uh, JSX uh, stands for that only actually JavaScript and HTML um, uh, you can write together so that is JSX so you will write here uh, you can write here an h1 which is may, uh, maybe that maybe that is hello world and you can also write a JavaScript here or you can just create this and you can write you can write a fat arrow function or something like something like that so there's nothing there's not a problem in that so JavaScript and uh, HTML can be written together so I will show you how this is done and uh, this is just I'm just telling for your reference and we will use it and uh, at that time you will get more clear view of what I'm trying to say and if you are uh, already in uh, a beginner or intermediate level of react so then you might be knowing what I'm trying to say so let's just uh, start building our uh, navbar so i will create this div which was given to me and i will create another div of my own so that will be navbar with a class of navbar okay now i will create two sections for the navbar one for the right hand side and what one for the left hand side so first let me create for the left hand side so that will be left uh, left side you can give any name uh, for the class name and one more thing if you're coming from an uh, HTML CSS background and you are new to react so the thing you need to understand here is that uh, in HTML in uh, react we don't give uh, class we write class name so uh, whatever you are using in HTML you are using class right in HTML CSS there are classes for every day or every container but here we use class name 
so because uh, in javascript class means a different thing and then it uh, it confuses with that class so that's why we use class name so here we have used class name and uh, that's uh, what you are going to use so don't use class just use class name that's uh, very very important so on the left side left side let me just try it this is left side and one more div we will create that is for the right side so that will be right side and now i will write some text which i want to display on the right side maybe right side and just hit save so this is it we have just uh, created a navbar component all uh, although i have, we have not finished it we have just begun so let us just render it and just see how this looks so we'll go to app.js to render this and uh, we'll import the navbar that is import navbar from and we'll provide the location here so it's in the okay i, I wrote form why do i do this mistake okay from and we'll go to the i guess it's this we'll go to the components then navbar again you don't need to write navbar.js navbar is fine perfectly fine okay so now i'm just going to import it over here so importing component is really really easy you need to just write nav bar and self close it so self closing is really important in react and let me just run the server now so let me just go to the website i mean the project folder and let me just try it npm start and this will run the server so meanwhile it's running let me just delete this text here we don't need it anymore and uh, let's go let's save it just go to the navbar again and this is what we have done so far and one more thing let me just also import react router dom so that we will be, we'll be routing towards different pages so or we can do it after we have finished with the navbar so that will be done and uh, and we'll go to the navbar again now let me just import the logo here for the navbar actually we can import the logo after uh, checking if this component is being rendered or not so let us just the uh, server is up and running and let's just go to the browser and let's just check let me refresh okay so whatever we wrote in the navbar component has been rendered don't worry about how it looks and just remember that whatever we wanted to render is being rendered so that's what that's all we need at the beginning that the component should render so now we will just go to our vs code and now we will in the left hand side we will we will try to render our image okay image means the logo image okay so for that first of all you need to import the image so for images one more thing i want to tell you is that i've created this folder right here which is known as assets so in that i have uh, import i have put all the images which we are going to use in the project so you can also uh, create a folder for the images you can call it anything it's not a compulsion that you name it assets only you can create it you can call it images or logos or or anything you want so i've, I've called it assets and i have uh, put the images you can use any image you like there's no compulsion at all i have used these images you can use the different one there's no problem with that okay so let us import our image so logo image so we'll call it import logo from and when we'll go to uh, assets and then there will be an image let me just check what's the name of the image that is logo.png yeah so you have to put the exact name of the file or, uh, along with the extension like dot png dot jpg dot jpeg dot gif any anything you have to put the entire name this is not like importing the component where we don't put dot uh, js here you need to pro provide dot png all right so let me just save it and let me just minimize this folder okay so now we have imported the image let us just use it in the left side of the container sorry in the left side of the div so here we will use an image tag that is img and then the src and here we will use the source of the file so it is just logo and again 
image tag is also a self closing tag here in react so let me just save it and let me just go to the browser and see okay we can see this image although all this is very very big <coughs> but uh, the best thing here is it gets rendered and we can see it so as long as we can see it there's no problem we can configure it and we can make it uh, work according to us so let's just go to VS code and uh, let's just try to make it a little more uh, beautiful so next on the right hand side we will be providing some links so for providing links first we need to uh, use react router dom in our app.js file so let me just go ahead and do it so you need to import three things keep in mind you need to import uh, and importing is done in inside the curly braces so you need to import uh, browser router as router then you need to import switch then you need to import route okay these things you need to import from react router dom this thing right here all right you need to import this from react router dom and now what we will do is that we will uh, we'll wrap every component inside inside the router all right so that means every component will be inside the router so every component when it's uh, uh, wrapped inside the router then only we can navigate and we can route through through the different pages okay so since we have imported router switch and route next we'll wrap is wrap this navbar inside the router okay we'll close it and router right i closed it let me just bring this navbar middle okay so let me just save it 